Nowadays, everybody's got a story. I'm talking to you right now because I've been paid to tell you the story about two boys. God damn it, dude, that was good. <laughs> That's a great sound. Now, these boys aren't just any boys. They're the boys. And them boys started a podcast. Firstly, there's Will. With the best set of teeth that a man can buy, he's the brains of the operation. Seven gritty years of being a fucking wolf in the NFL has taught Will that a tough man can get out of a situation, but a smart man never gets himself into one. And then, behind every brain, there's the muscle. And we all know who that is. Being a three-time pro bowler, Taylor's there to give the pod the juice that it needs. Hell, maybe enough juice for a four-game suspension. With dreams of podcast glory, the boys set out on a journey, on a bus that don't even run. So I'll go like, I'll like stand up, say I have the toilet paper. Yeah. Say I'm like stepping up. The am I the toilet? I well, the thing that made us want to start this podcast is uh, Will. Well, this is, this is, uh, Will hates me using this term, but this is his baby. I've always enjoyed podcasting. And I've always been fascinated thinking like, man, it would be dope to, you know, have a podcast since I, I love listening to it. So why not figure out a way to start my own and have all these conversations that I have with people everywhere else, but have them, you know, on camera, have them in, you know, in a podcast setting. You know, we're, we're at a Chinese food spot. It's me and Will. And uh, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'll do the podcast. Let's do it. We shook each other's hand and he was like, all right, I'll do it. We'll, we'll do it like 50-50. Uh, and I was kind of like, uh, I was kind of like, uh, you know, let me let me uh, think about it. It's, it's something that like I held kind of close to me, but I was like, all right, 50-50. And he shook my hand right away. And uh, we ended up eating, closing the Chinese place down. We started that stupid bus. Yeah, yeah, dude, the failed <laughs> miserable. Hey, dude. <laughs> it may take off. You know. Yeah, you never know, we man. got some plans for this bus, man. We do. We got, at least you have an original idea. I'm more of a fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy. Well, when I met Cardboard Films and, and we started doing production with them, our first thought was, is like, what would you do for a studio? And uh, Taylor, who we, I call Juice, is uh, he brought up an idea of a bus. And he told me it was a $600 bus. We sat down and uh, I was with you guys and Taylor was like, hey, there's this bus out back. Like, um, you think it'd be cool to try to do it on the bus? I saw the photo of the bus and I was like, I mean, I don't want to. I was like, where is it? We gotta go find it, we gotta go see it today. And it, it ironically was in the, like, the parking lot of the place we were already at. So I was, I was wrong, I was wrong about the bus. Uh, just to have that on record, I was wrong, Taylor. And two days later, I bought it for $2,000, which I was fully lied to about. Thank you, Juice. Right now, we're, we're taking a 79 Bluebird, and we're renovating this thing to turn into a studio for our podcast, The Dead. This shit is disgusting. It worked out. The bus has worked out. It, we, we, I don't think we would be where we are without buying that stupid ass, this stupid ass bus. It is beautiful now. Bussin' D, B, bussin', bussin' B, 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 W, T, B, baby. B, B, bussin' with, no, W, T, B, W, B, T, what is this? Sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. Troubles are all the same You wanna be where everybody knows your name You wanna go where people know People are all the same You wanna go where everybody knows your name Tell me about your relationship with Will. Well, we're not together. Um, from from that standpoint, but uh, dude, he's a, he's an amazing friend. He is um, he's someone you don't have to work hard to enjoy the company of. Hi, I have a diploma in HVAC here. 
Oh my god, that was the fastest. Nothing wrong with your guys' HVAC high step and just take it for luck. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh. Is, oh. Is, is your teammate in there? No, he's not. Is he in there, DeLuca? Yes. Dead, son. <laughs> I'm the living dead. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Taylor's the boy, man. That is my freaking. That is my dude. Um, we are the way our friendship kind of started. It was. It was. It's just funny. The dude is so. Uh, he's a. He's a wild card. Yo, God is excited. Let's Holy. fucking go. Holy Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> Yo, let me get up. You're 30. Just let me get the fuck up. He's got this weird thing where he loves to get made fun of, and I can definitely do that for him. Don't know why, but I've literally made fun of him outside of the podcast when no one's listening. He's like, ah, save that for the podcast. That type of thing. Your teeth look good, man. Hey, I appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> you don't have to brush your teeth anymore. They just stay wet all the time. <laughs> no, man. I do. My boy just chews gum now, dude. He brush his teeth. I do. I, I got to. He don't have to. Yeah, yeah he puts it in a cup at night. <laughs> my man got I do. The, I, got I actually have to floss George Washington too. dentures, bro. <laughs> you know, people, to... when they look at me, they didn't know if they should kick a field goal or just... Yeah. Now that I see this, yeah, I'm like, yeah, there was definitely an issue, an issue before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's an awesome person. He works hard. And, um, you know, the success of this podcast is really because of him. And we're both like very different human beings, like the way we operate, the way we do everything. And I don't know, it's like a, it's like a yin and yang thing, dude. It's just, it's weird. I don't know how to, I don't know how to explain like the dynamic of everything. <laughs> well, when we first did our first couple of podcasts, I kept calling Will and I was like, dude, is this going to be stupid? Like, are we going to be able to do this? Like, what's the deal? And he was kind of nervous. He's like, I don't know. It's going to be all right, I think. And after the first couple, man, it kind of just snowballed. And people really enjoyed it. And I enjoy doing it. It's just it's a way to let off steam. And it's like keeping a personal journal. I think every episode that came out, you would feel better about stuff and also unsure. Because we backlogged. We backlogged like five or six before we were even released one. So the Delaney one was first. Yeah, it's probably anyway, Jacksonville. I was coming in the hot tub. Delaney was in there, and I'm always hyped to see Delaney. I always see him in the steam room, sauna. He's always in there doing his own little P90X workout in the steam room. <laughs> we used to always talk shop all the time, but I was hyped to see him. You know, I'm like, the boy. He's like, Calm, what up, man? Will you stop working out this year? <laughs> <laughs> People had a very good uh, reaction to that one. So, you know, you're, you're excited. Like, every night I remember being on the phone with Taylor, and he would just... We both asked, like, do we think this is going to be dope? And I think the time where it became a hit was when the Vrabel conversation happened and when he said he would cut his dick off for a Super Bowl. I <laughs> love Vrabel. He was on Bussin' with the Boys. Do we have that clip yep. from Bussin' with the Boys? He was on Bussin' with the Boys this past offseason, which is a podcast that Taylor Lewan and Will Compton host out of the back of a Dale Earnhardt Jr. bus, which awesome. is an interesting one. He was on there, and he said this. Would you cut your dick off for a Super Bowl? Oh, been married 20 years. Yeah, probably. You've got three. <laughs> That's how much Mike Vrabel wants to win another Super Bowl. I can't help but respect the hell out of that. I'm here for the uh, wild card games. Hey, guys. Tom Brady is here for the wild card. Whoa. Did he get lost? Oh, hey, old pal. I will chop off my penis to beat you. Vrabel! Vrabel! Vrabel, who has an incredible mustache, has said on Bustin' with the Boys, a podcast, that he's willing to do absolutely anything to get to the Super Bowl. What? Not the Titans. Here you go, Tommy Boy. No! no! Um, obviously, Vrabel was a great one. That he, from, a, from a media standpoint, it was huge, especially during our playoff run. Um, he was good, man. That guy's great with banter. He's funny. He's charismatic. He has a really, he has a really good, good job of, you know, making things as funny as possible in the most professional way possible. And everyone kind of grabbed that, and that kind of went viral for us. And then the Jalen Ramsey one happened. Did you listen to that podcast? I did. It was fascinating. Um, a lot of insight information. You did? You, you listened to it? I did. You know exactly what I said when I when we, said, I was... said if the Jags were not to sign you and let you hit free agency, you would, the two spots you'd like to land, hometown Tennessee and the Las Vegas Raiders. Yeah. Yeah. What was I saying? It was a great podcast, man. It was? Who, what podcast was that? 
Taylor, Taylor Lewan. Oh, Bussin' with the Boys. You don't huh? Bussin' with the Boys? You want me, you want me to get name drop it for you? Shout out to Bussin' with the Boys, man. Huh? Bussin' with the Boys? Shout out to Bussin' with the Boys. Damn! Uh, Jalen was awesome too. Just he was the first kind of player we got that was not a Tennessee Titan. And obviously, from a media standpoint, he did amazing as well. But he's funny, man. He's funny. I appreciate that guy. He's uh, he's a great football player. But like just how he operates on a day to day, I really like that about him. And then these other ones just started to happen, and people started to catch wind on it. And then for me, for me, it would be when people, peers of mine, teammates or opponents. Um, I remember being on the field for the Kansas City Chiefs game, and Eric Fisher, the left tackle, was like, hey, busting with the boys. And uh, he's like, yo, when are we going to get on the bus and stuff? And that's when I kind of knew, like, yo, we got something that's pretty cool. The boys! There's no hope it is in this locker room. The poor the boys is, is here to stay, I know, in this locker room, and it, there's, it's, there's no fa fair weather about it. You're either, you're either for the boys or you're not. Get on the train or get off. That's their thing, but... When you're, when you're coming around and, again, having some enthusiasm and energy around the building, wherever you go, it's for the boys. The boys, all that stuff, all these different things. You guys will hear everybody saying it. For the fucking boys! Yeah, you know. Put that head around, Max. I got you. I got you. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, yeah, but uh. <laughs> and what that means? It means what you want it to mean. But if you have a set of boys, anybody can be in there. And your forum, again, they can wear any color. They can be any color. A anything. In your forum, you're for the boys. And that's why I think it works. I think it's become a deeper thing. At first, what it was is me and Will going. We'd be in the locker room and we'd go to the the hot tubs and. We just say the boys, and then you know, so, sooner or later, there'd be like this call recall type thing. And initially, it was a, it was with the Titans. I think Taylor and I, Taylor always talks about the boy, like, hey, the boys will get a lift in. We'll go do this. Um, we'll hang out at the house, play shuffleboard, stuff like that. You walk in, the boy, the boy, and you just start saying the boy, right? You know, Jayon and and uh, Bates and and all the boys would just start saying it back, and we walk into rooms, and then they start saying the boys and. I vividly remember Jayon, and then a few of the other fellas, a few of the other boys, they started yelling, the boys, too, or the boy, or then there'd be a couple coming, hey, the boys, then it just started to be the boys, and then you're for the boys. Everybody wants to be a part of something. This, everybody in this world, like, you know, that's why culture's so easy to get into, right? People just want to be accepted, they want to be a part of stuff, and being like the boys, being for the boys, like, doesn't matter what gender, sex, any of that stuff, what it matters is, is you know, you identify with something. If there's a community of boys, and it can be the girls, that's a thing. That's a thing, it's all, it's all, it's all sexes, genders, ages. If you got a group of boys, and you're for the boys, then you're for the boys. Hey guys, are you all in town for a bachelorette party? Who should the Tennessee Titans draft tonight? Oh, I have no Peyton clue. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning. I have no idea. She doesn't know. Eli Manning. Who do you think the Tennessee Titans are gonna draft tonight? Well, I really don't know, but I hope they win. I do too. Yeah. Sweet. See you, man. <clears throat> and Matt was awesome, dude. Um, you know, there's there was growing pains with Matt, and I think when Matt sat down for his interview, you were there at his interview. He's kind of he didn't have anything there. He had like some Hawaiian, some ridiculous Hawaiian collared shirt on, and the dude wanted it so bad. And everybody vouched for him, and everybody always talked about how great of a dude he was. Nate Bain, the PR guy for um, the Titans, reached out on behalf of Matt you know, vouching for him. And uh, Matt was special, dude. Matt, the biggest Titans fan I ever met, and I'll ever be around, he's an all-timer. 
and um, the dude wanted the this podcast to work out so bad. Yeah, um, Matt was Matt was a unique and special guy. Like he um, he was so passionate about the things he was passionate about, which sounds weird. Like people, not a lot of people find things to hang their hat on, and Matt hung his hat on this podcast he hung his hat on his, his Twitter account his the podcast he had before this and being a Titans fan and he'd always be so nervous around me when I first met him and I was like you know after a while I went up to Will and I was like what's the deal and he's like he's just a fan how he was so genuinely himself you know and he was just unapologetically I'm Matt Neely he did everything he did everything in some to make sure we everything dropped on time handling conversations um he wanted this thing to be so big and you know supported us so hard and you know believed in us and he was a boy man he was uh gosh damn it um you know i think about him all the time because he was he was part of this he helped build this thing and uh i i can't say enough man i i could go on and on about matt and i, I miss him all the time and i know he would be super stoked where we're at right now, where we're going. Um, and he, he's a huge reason why we are where we are. We're going to miss the hell out of him, man. Last year, I'm after looking from mimosas no, to whiskey. One, that one. <laughs> no, this like, one, this, this, that picture says serial killer. Pick, hey, when your mouth is closed, closed. for sure, yes, dude. Yes, I agree with get that. To, get the Redskins. Someone in the Redskins with him smiling, bro. Look at oh! the... Oh! Hey, the Bulls! Yes! We'll get back to chihuahuas and wolves and everything in a little bit, but listen up. Here's the deal. This is one of the first intros you're ever going to hear about the boys have officially sold the fuck out. Sold the fuck out. Fuck it, dude. Tell them. Tell, tell them I'll happened. tell you why. Because if you ever do anything in entertainment, you don't ever say, oh, I don't want to sell out. The only thing you want to fucking do is sell out, and we did it. El Presidente is now our boss. I'm his dad. He's our boss. It's a weird relationship. I will tell you right now, though. We are officially a Barstool Sports officially Podcast. Officially a Barstool Sports Podcast. Powered, powered by Barstool. I like the I like that ring to it, too. It does. We're a Barstool Sports. We are official. And I feel official. Popcorn off the edge. Damn, you are fucking Miami ready. Dude, I'm fucking, I just feel myself. Say good morning, huh? <laughs> Good morning, fellas, the boys. Where the arrows were? Everything good too, huh? Such a disrespectful way to touch a shirt. Disrespected. Let me just get a picture. Come on. Let me just get a picture. Let me get out of the way. Oh, Lord, me and these. Okay. Oh, oh, you know what? Hey. Hey. Lisa, take them rollers. I'm going to okay. take them separate. And look at me. Look. Nice. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm behind you. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> See, I done started coming. Oakland Raiders. We'll count to 50, 51 oh. Oakland Raiders. Good. And I want to take a picture of you. It looks a hot mess. <laughs> but hey, will you stand up? Can I, can I take a picture? Yes, absolutely. I didn't think anybody would give two shits about this podcast. I really didn't. I thought, um, I thought people would be like, oh, it's great. You know, like two football players doing a podcast and for it to be taken and you know thousands of followers already less than a year you know people are like diehard fans of this thing it's wild it's it's so cool yeah i don't it's again it's like unpredictable like i i've we, we have what we're wanting to do right but again like life is like uh it's just unpredictable when you got a, a couple guys that have a priority which is football and then you're trying to do things outside of football, which is build the podcast. And, um, 
you just never know, man. Obviously, I, I think big things, I think the sky's the limit. Laser crossed. Thick legs, sturdy ankles. <laughs> if there's a hurricane, I'm holding on to her. He says sturdy ankles. Yeah, hooking. Hey. Don't start the crystal. Hey, We did so good yesterday. <laughs> Bussin' with the boys. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, is joining our network, Taylor Wan, Will Compton. This is how long you guys have been. If you haven't heard the podcast, it's very good. They do it in a bus. I guess you stole it from PMT, you stole it from me, and then it all comes from yeah. my brain and goes downhill. It's literally no just way. It's one funnel of greatness going into a concentrated version of a bus. Seeing, we haven't been doing this for a whole year. So it's like, you know, there's so much out there that we get to experience that, you know, it's just, it, it, I don't even know what to expect. It's not where it's at. Like, none of this stuff, none of this stuff. Like, we have, we have fan mail, dude. You know what I mean? Like, that's sick. I would say thank you to literally everybody because, again, we are not any of this stuff without, without the fans, without, like, this little cult vibe that has gone on, like a community vibe where people share it, they talk about it, they wear our stuff, and they, people actually enjoy it and take stuff out of it. Um, so that would be my message, man, because it's been all organic. You know what I mean? The thing is, people are wondering if we're going to change. Hey, hey, lattes are here. Lattes are here. So that Alex, answers you it. Can, you can, we don't have to worry about that. So those. that answers it. No, we're not going to change. Yeah, Ice yeah exactly. There we go. We're fucking in, dude. We're the same. <laughs> Couldn't have happened any better. The only thing that changes is the change. It's just cool. I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm so appreciative to everyone who even just subscribes and listens to us and buys our merch and because you're a part of it you're just as part of it as i am or will is it's it's been it's been awesome and i think it again a big future ahead with whatever direction we want to go things have seemed to work out pretty good for old will and taylor made me laugh to hear the pod parts of it anyway made me sad to see matt go he was sure for the boys it's been fun Seeing the community thrive and the seltzers chugged. There sure are a lot of pups out there just to... Huh, look at me, rambling again. Well, I hope you folks enjoyed yourselves. We'll see you on down the road. Big hugs and tiny little kisses.